Hi everyone, we are going to have a look and see what we have in terms of messages. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look and see, you know, what messages we have from your person, you know, how they're feeling about you, um, what's going on. So I'm going to look into all of that. I'm going to grab the cards in a second. I just wanted to mention a few things like um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below. Since I do giveaways every single month, if you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, uh, intention items, everything is listed down below. Um, so, you know, there's personal readings with me for tarot, <laughs> well, questions you have. Um, you, there's also the rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and there's also intention items for various areas of your life. So do check those out if you are interested. And there is, yeah, there's, you know, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles, um, you know, teas, etc. Really, really special and handmade items. Okay, so everything's, you know, listed down below and the review section is at the bottom of my website as well, shopmoonlightguidance.com. So let's have a look and see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cards. Let's have a look and see. What is your person bringing to you? I think that's really a good question to ask as well. <laughs> I think a lot because we've got a lot of cards that came out actually. Oh yeah. Uh oh. I got mad at you for being right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so they feel really, really stupid. Like when I say stupid, I mean like really stupid. They feel like uh, they should be in the gutter. Or what is the other phrase that they use a lot here in the UK? In the doghouse. Uh oh. Sorry, I keep, <laughs> keep saying that. Um, you know, what I feel is really very, very important here to know is that they don't blame you at all. They really don't blame you. They blame themselves. So if you are super frustrated thinking, Moonlight, I did everything wrong and I did this and I did that and it must be my fault because I did this, you have to understand that it takes two hands to clap. It takes two people to make a relationship work and it takes two people really for there to be understanding in a mutual manner. It's not just you that can always do both sides. I mean, otherwise then you might as well just like marry yourself. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't mean to sound that blunt, but <laughs> it kind of just came out that way, you know? Um, Trust me, I get, I get a lot of people that come to me in, in the private services, they, you know, they really blame themselves. And I think that, you know, uh, it's it's human tendency, you know, because you're, you're an empath, you are empathic, you have a lot of emotion, you wouldn't treat people the way that, well, this person has treated you, you know? So of course you would think like, oh, have I done something wrong? What can I do to fix it? Because you're that kind of person, you know, you're always trying to find a solution, you're always trying to help. And I think that's a beautiful thing, but it can also be, you know, not so great when you feel that you have to be the one to do everything. So with that being said, what I think is important for me to tell you is that remember, it always takes two people. Otherwise, you may as well just marry yourself, you know, there we go. Okay, so we have got here, I got mad at you for being right. Now they know okay, that a lot of the things that you said, a lot of the things that you did were just, they were just, they were justified, that you were right, uh, that you really spoke, you know, from your heart and your soul, and that it wasn't your fault. Repeat after me, wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault. We've got here having dreams of you. Now, this is really, really important. Why is it super, super important? Because they are definitely thinking about the fact that they were not good enough to you. They are also feeling really bad about how they've treated you and they are not happy. They are just not happy about the things that they said and did. We also have your birthday as well. So, you know, there could be something that happened on your birthday that we're picking up on or for your like next birthday, if it's coming up um, or, you know, whenever it is, they are going to try and do something from what I'm seeing here. They can try and plan something. They can try and communicate with you or send you a gift. They're going to try and do something from what I'm seeing here. And then we've also got, I hope you don't hate me. So I definitely feel that there's a really strong and very powerful energy, which is definitely to do with the fact that 
they really they really hope despite their actions towards you that you haven't like you know decided that it's all over and done and dusted but that's your choice you know like if you feel that it's over and done and dusted that's totally fine and uh, we've got i'm scared to let my guard down yeah they are and the reason why they're scared to let their guard down is for multiple reasons first of all they feel like they've treated you so badly that you could definitely say a lot of things to them right now and that would you know make them feel quite overwhelmed and frustrated because they don't want to hear more of it because they obviously know what they're dealing with um, and what they have done towards you we've also got here as well be patient with me please got you do know best yeah so a lot of these are very validating so if they emotionally validated you what you have to understand is right now they're validating you they're doing the complete opposite okay if they told you that you were being too much or that it's not you it's me like you know believe them believe them it is them um and that it's not your fault here um what i think is also really important is that it says i'm not intentionally ignoring you what they are trying to do is they're trying to basically uh, pluck up the courage to come towards you i do feel that they will communicate with you in a very unexpected manner it will happen when you least expect it and it's also going to happen when they are so strong within themselves that they can really really come to you and be like oh i'm very very sorry you know very very sorry about their actions and words towards you so yes they will come towards you i think that that's it just goes you know it goes without saying basically wow that i feel stupid is just standing out so much like it's it's the one card that just stands out out of all of these and it was the first one as well i got mad at you for being right you do know best i hope you don't hate me oh I've been confiding about this connection. So they have been talking to somebody, I think in their family about this, that they feel really bad about treating you in this particular way, but that they feel that you really are like such a good person for them and that they don't want to actually lose out on this altogether, but then they are scared as to what you might say in return. Now, some of you might be asking the question of, okay, well, Moonlight, if they're really scared, you know, and they don't want to come to me, does that mean I should go to them? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't, okay? I don't recommend that you reach out to this person because they still have to come to you. The thing here is that they're still in that kind of in-between place of trying to like pluck up the courage. And so if you were just to go to, you know, go to them, then they haven't really plucked up the courage, right? They haven't really like um, gotten that kind of like strength together to really come towards you and, and to use their own energy. People value things that they have to work hard for. I hate to say it. It's the same with this person. They value things that they have to work hard for. They value things that they have to, you know, really go after. If you are always the one going to them and showing them that, oh, you know, I really care about you and I want to do this and you, you are the one smothering them, they're not really working hard for your energy. They will always feel that you are there. They will always feel that you are wrapped around their fingers. That's not really the greatest thing that you want to showcase to them, you know, because then they got to learn by themselves too so that they don't make these kinds of mistakes in the future. So let them come to you. See, I think something unexpected will come in terms of message. Now, we've got a message here um, in terms of Instagram, but any kind of, you know, social media platform that perhaps both of you are on, um, or, you know, even if they've ghosted you or blocked you, um, I mean, they could still come forward. Where there is a will, there is a way. So some kind of unexpected kind of message communication is going to happen. Yep, see, they will want to apologize to you. We've got, I hate how much pain I've caused you, which we've pretty much gotten to that point, haven't we? Because they know that they have not, they have not treated you very well at all and they're starting to realize that and feel actually really really bad because i don't think that there are people around them who are as nice as you have been to them not everybody on the work you know not everyone by the way um what i'm trying to say here is that not all uh hold on let me reformulate my thoughts not everybody is an empath that's what i'm trying to say it's actually quite rare it is quite rare um you know, you don't just come across empaths all the time, you know, I mean, there's, there's many, there's many, 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 um, but, you know, they don't, they don't come across empaths, I think their energy doesn't really connect, you know, in, in that sense, and I think that you are the kind of person that, yes, you got drawn to them, and things like that, but 
essentially they didn't know what to, you know, what to make of it all. And um, the kind of people that they're around right now are very low vibrational. They're not empathic. So that's why, you know, um, now they're realizing, you know, what you truly mean to them. That's, that's it. Um, we got here, I know you can help me. They know that you are literally the best person out there for them in terms of helping them, being around them, being supportive, being genuine, being understanding. But guess what they have to do? They have to show you that as well. They have to come to you, be genuine, supportive, understanding, respectful, kind. Let them work for your energy. It's so important, right? Like, let them work for your energy. Let them be proactive. Let them come towards you. It's so important, so important. And I have vulnerability insecurities with you. Yeah, they, they have a hard time because, you know, with you, they have to be vulnerable. With you, they have to be open. With you, they have to be, you know, um, constant, uh, consistent, compromising. These are hard things for them to do. But, you know, the, in time, they will come towards you and do a lot of these things. Mark my words. Mark my words. So this is what we have. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And definitely do take care, everyone. And I will see you all very, very soon. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what we see. All right, take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.